if, and I'm saying if, if a dirty bomb goes off, the psychological, political, and economic aftershock would be felt for years. But the immediate damage would be equally terrifying. Terrorists are likely to detonate a dirty bomb or radiological dispersal device at city centers for maximum impact. Let us take the example of the capital city, New Delhi. Now, while the extent of local contamination would depend on a number of factors like the size of the explosive, the amount and type of radioactive material used and weather conditions, in this scenario that we are looking at, we are looking at a device the size of a small suitcase and calm weather. This is the emotional heart of the city, Rajiv Chowk or Connaught Place. Now here is the parliament house at a distance of about two kilometers. This is the Rashtrapati Bhavan, distance about 2.5 kilometers from Connaught Place. That is the New Delhi railway station, just about a kilometer from the center of CP. And as you can see, all around Connaught Place, there are offices and big buildings and marketplaces where people gather in big numbers through the day. If a dirty bomb went off directly at the center of Connaught Place, almost everyone within the inner circle would die because of the blast. And everyone between the inner circle and the outer circle would in all probability be afflicted with fatal radiation sickness and may die within weeks of the strike. But the radiation effect, the actual total radiation effect will be felt in a three kilometer radius from the blast site. And this entire zone will have to be cordoned off for years with no one allowed to enter it till the air area can be scrubbed clean of radioactive waste. Now this would mean that not only these buildings around CP, but the Parliament House, the Rashtrapati Bhavan, and the New Delhi Railway Station would all have to be abandoned. If there is a wind, then the impact will be more in the direction of the wind, in the direction that the wind blows. And if it rains, then the radioactive material will wash out of the air but would, would wash into river Yamuna and the contamination would spread down the river. 